Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forex, pisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Yes, today we will take a look at the Swiss franc, but uh, in relation to the euro currency because uh, they are really have a really strong relation. But uh, Swiss franc currently is a bit more volatile, more mostly due to the tensions around the North Korea, because Swiss franc is also treated as the safe haven currency, and it feels stronger the impact of the geopolitical tensions compared to euro currency. At the same time, this is the European country and Swiss franc stands in, in, a, in a close relation to the European Union, Europe, uh, European currency. That's why it also reflects the processes that uh, are going right now in the European Union. And uh, very often the euro currency and uh, Swiss franc shows the, mostly the same action. <clears throat> but currently we um, will take a look at this Swiss, Swiss franc because it just has a bit more clear picture compares to the euro currency. So if you remember on the daily chart initially on the last week, we have talked about the possible hand shoulders here. So that was not bad setup in general, but on the non-farm payrolls release, market has shown two strong spike down. And although the body of the shoulders still stands in the same area, as you can see it, and it's mostly was pretty nice, but the spike mostly has erased the opportunity to rely on this pattern that we have talked about before. Right now, we are not interested mostly in this pattern, but in the last part of this action. So maybe here we will get some kind of a double bottom in the future. I do not know. But right, right now, we are mostly interested with this uh, part of the price behavior. So I, I will make it larger. What we have here is a strong spike up, bounce. Here we have the first bearish grabber. And uh, yes, we've got another one, minor grabber. This minor grabber suggests that market should drop below these lows and it means that the retracement down inside of the body of this um, let's call it I don't know how the hammer or just this recent swing should be greater and deeper uh, that's why on the hourly chart we could keep an eye on this scenario so that could be uh, this is our spike on the, four, on, on the daily chart and that's retracement that right now stands on the way also, as you, can see, as, as you know, the overall tensions around the North Korea right now are, stands really at a significant degree and a high degree, and uh, um, that's why the downward action here seems very probable from the geopolitical point of view. Uh, I'm not sure that the uh, market will stop definitely at the uh, uh, AB equals CD target. Maybe this will be even 1618 AB CD to the downside. It's also possible. And maybe this will be not 127, but 1618 bar of line, slightly lower. But the pattern in general will remain the same. So the, the, the depth of, the, of this trap could be different. But right now, uh, I, I uh, draw here the nearest targets. Why? Because if you'll take a look, this recent action is slowed down. It uh, shows the non significant pace compared to this drop. So this action, this motion is slower. That's why. I think that in the current situation, it makes sense to take a look at the nearest extensions. So, and here we could get some kind of the Gartner's cheap pull to buy pattern. So, this could be A, B, C, D retracement down. And also, market could complete this part of life around uh, so approximately 95, 15 area probably. Also, guys, I would suggest that uh, this could be also maybe some kind of a FIB level even. It seems that should be. 618 FIB support. So um, just two seconds, I will add the FIB levels. So then we'll see, right. So indeed, this also will be 618 support. So nice area where you could think about the taking a long position. At least if even late, the market will drop below it and will break the setup on the first reaching of this area market should show some kind of the upward reaction maybe it will be not as significant but it really could happen 
in general, guys, speaking on situation around the North Korea, it's the obvious things that was not uh, really highlighted in the mass media. It's really geopolitical situation changes right before our eyes, and ev not everybody look and, and see it because it, it, it uh, was not massively uh, highlighted in the mass media because uh, just to imagine what that the nuclear uh, rocket uh, fly above uh, in Japan territory. So just imagine what could happen if some uh, nuclear uh, rockets will fly here and there and above different territories and it should be treated as a normal thing. So that's the reaction that has fallen in mass media. But indeed, uh, this is not quite so, because this is really a very significant event. And what does it mean? Why the American uh, Aegis uh, uh, anti-missile system hasn't been uh, put it down? So it means that something, uh, maybe some, some problems exist or something. And the uh, whole world see this. So. Uh, that, that uh, the, this missile has not been uh, grounded. So, and uh, it, it's really, it's a, it, it, it's a changes of the geopolitical situation, changes in the geopolitical power balance at our equilibrium now and before our eyes. Uh, and uh, I think that's really big consequence will follow. That's why we have announced in our uh, vehicle research and gold market especially, that the 2017 will be the year of the big geopolitical tensions, big geopolitical changes. Um, right now we're coming to the elections in the Germany and uh, in Italy, so this will be also turning points in the, for the vector of the development of the European Union. So that's why it's, uh, Swiss francs also feels these tensions. Each reaction could be a bit stronger. So uh, just don't forget about the euro currency. Uh, on the euro currency, guys, we have the similar situation, but I'm not sure that our prediction could be as strong as we just have mentioned on the Swiss franc. Here, we maybe will get this is our stuff that we discussed in the vehicle research. Here, we could get some minor reaction, maybe could happen. Maybe some A, B, C, D patient will be completed. We will get another Gartner's triple to sell. It's also possible. So something of that sort, probably, here we could get maybe something of that sort. This is, will be a bit uh, smaller uh, reaction, not as on the Swiss franc, but in the same direction. So that's why I seem, it seems that uh, maybe it's a bit early speaking about immediate dropping on the euro currency and immediate ri rising on the Swiss franc, and better to wait the clear patients to be formed before they make the final decision there and on the Swiss franc. 